Sometimes we get excited. Sometimes we get nervous, but we're always fascinated when the crew from Wildlife Encounters enters the studio. So you can just imagine how kids feel when they get to learn about animals up close at their school or at an event. Sometimes too close right here, as you'll <laughs> see. Our education continues now. Kip Smith from Wildlife Encounters. Good to see you, Kip. Good to see you guys, too. Hey, you brought in my favorite. You know, you know I don't like snakes. You don't like snakes. <laughs> so so Kip starts with snakes. He brings in a snake first off the bat. What is this? Uh, this is a corn snake. This is an albino corn snake. snake. Oh yeah, you can pet him for sure. His name's Radar. Hi, Radar. Uh, Radar actually came from a vet tech program that was closing down. Uh, did, we just got him this week, so we're taking him out kind of. Are soon. these rare, the albinos? Or not, not too rare. No, no you see these. Uh, we see corn snakes all over the United States. We even have some here in Nebraska. Do we have uh, albino not, corn snakes in uh, Nebraska? You probably won't see an albino in the wild. They don't have camouflage. Oh, okay. So an albino snake like this, if it's slithering through the grass, a predator like an owl or a hawk will see it, pick it up, and try to eat it. I feel like we should be the king of corn snakes in Nebraska, right? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. We should, I mean, yeah. We should have these things all over the place. <laughs> Yeah, they get that name. Uh, if you look at the bottom of him, his scales kind of look like corn. So that's why they mm -hmm. call them corn snakes. Oh, they do. It is this like a it. dangerous animal? No, not dangerous at all. Uh, sometimes people think they're dangerous, though. If these animals get scared, they rattle their tail like a rattlesnake. Do so people really? mistake them for rattlesnakes. Uh -huh. We don't want to scare that thing. We don't want to <laughs> yeah. try that out. We know they're, they're not venomous. They have sharp teeth, but it's not going to do anything to you. If one bit you, it, you just bleed a little tiny bit. It'd be like getting a shot. But yeah, the tail, I mean, look at the, the tip of the tail. It's even a strong muscle, like the tip. Yeah, he's just a constrictor. So he, he bites his food, wraps around it, squeezes it, and then swallows it completely whole. That's Does he eat rodents or? Yep, yeah, this guy's going to eat mice. Uh, but in the wild, you know, they eat frogs, toads, things like that as well. How long will he live for? This guy is, he's in his late teens. They said mm -hmm. maybe even 20. Uh, so we'll see maybe 23, 25 years for these so animals. He's, he's getting up there in his age. Yeah, yeah, he's older yeah, he's for sure. Senior citizen. Senior, yep. What, what else, else we got? Do we have bring in? Oh, we got one more. We'll take this guy. Off, but we're having a little demonstration for you guys. I'm gonna have you hold this piece. Okay. And then us, okay. That's I yours. get the small one. You get the small one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like my eyes here. Oh my goodness! Good. Look at this thing. Good Holy gravy. Moly. Look at his jaw. Look at his mouth. <laughs> Should we be frightened right now? No, no. You're totally is he just safe. hungry. Why is he doing that? Uh, this is what they do in the wild. He sit, this is how he hunts. He sits and he waits at the bottom he just of a waits river. For food to fall in his mouth. Yeah, he does. Well, if you look, I can point towards the camera. If you look at that little pink thing in his mouth, yeah. uh -huh. that's a part of his tongue. Wow. So it's a little fishing lure. He sits. He moves that around just like he's moving right there. Very a cool. fish. He's sits a worm. all over fish. our table. <laughs> that's just water. He's transporting water. <laughs> <laughs> so a fish swims in his mouth. He bites it and he eats it. And they swim incredibly fast. No you can hold that celery straight hold in front of you, Kayla. We can show you how he bites. Uh, we'll, I'll just gently. Oh my God! Wow! <laughs> Holy cow! Attack of the killer Yeah, turtle. isn't that crazy fast? Wait a Are minute. You? Hold on. Let me see this. Look at the size of her. <laughs> look at the size of her celery, and look at the size of my celery. Do you really what? want Mike to do yeah, it? Yeah, we're gonna have you do it. Look at this. We're gonna see Are how close. We're gonna see how close we can get. We're gonna you see are. how brave Mike is. You're not coming back on the show either. I'm just. I'm oh not gonna do Lord. that to you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna do it. You're no, crazy. not gonna do that. Oh. We're, yeah, but. that again. Oh yeah, we can do it. Yep. Just hold your hands straight out. We'll hold them out. My hand's shaking. Oh, oh, good job, buddy. <laughs> See, there we go. Now he's got some. Well, yeah. Let's let him eat it. Yeah, I feel bad if we just tease him like this. Um, right. the turtles live a long time. Yes, yeah, we'll see this guy live about 75 years. <laughs> and how old is he now? Uh, this guy is, I think he's in his teens. How heavy is he? Uh, he's not too heavy, probably like 30 pounds. He'll get yeah. to be 200 pounds. You could do so some he's small. With that. He's yeah. going to get a lot bigger than this. And this was a kid's pet, actually, in Gretna, where Wildlife mm -hmm. Encounters is located. Uh, they don't typically make good pets. You know, they can bite you pretty well. Oh, yeah, they, look oh. Right. They, they can be vicious. <laughs> Kid took really good care of him. Yeah. He uh, likes reptiles a lot. We uh -huh. have an alligator as a pet, too, so we have his alligator as well. Okay. What else are you bringing? Um, I yeah, see we'll something furry I'm over there. I'm excited for this one. We've got one of the cute critters coming up. Yeah, this guy's a little cuter than the snapping turtle. <laughs> now, what is this? <laughs> this is Kiwi. Uh, Kiwi is a baby kinkajou. She's uh -huh. about four or five months old. Can and you can hold her for you. Oh, yeah, for sure. Where kinkajous come from? Australia? Kinkajous, South and Central America. South and Central. Yep, and you even see them in Southern Mexico, too. They're a rainforest uh, animal. Mike? And yeah. you can, yeah. yeah, you can feed her if you want to. Any, She's a little calmer any recommendation than the lemur. How to feed this thing? I don't want to get my <laughs> no, yeah, last hand over it. Last time with the lemur, just just hand it to her. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, she might not be knows. interested in food. She's just checking stuff she, out yeah, right now. She, she, she has sweetie. a really good sense of smell. Oh, so sure. she's going to be smelling mm -hmm. you guys, checking everything out. She'll climb on your shoulders. They have a really oh, long tongue she, though, so she may try to lick your ear. She'll give you a wet willy. She's <laughs> very gentle. <laughs> she she is. Yeah, she grabs that apple. 
Um, I'm yeah, distracted I, by how adorable she is. Did you say the, how old she is? She's about four or five months old. Okay. Yeah, they're wow. super cute animals. Not good pets. Uh, I know she looks cute and nice here, but she's they're really cute. loud. Well, they sound like a bird. Hands. And yeah, I babysat her at my my home for a week, and it drove me crazy. Uh, <laughs> what they, you, yeah. what yeah, kind of noise? How does it sound? It's not. I don't know how to make the noise. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to put you on sounds, the spot. It sounds like a bird. They squeak really, really loud. Uh, yeah. You can't really house train these. In, uh, they just kind of go to the bathroom wherever. They go everywhere. And, oh yeah, so it wouldn't be fun to have in your home. <laughs> um, how did you acquire her, and how do you acquire many of the animals that you do get? Uh, the snapping turtle was someone's pet. Corn snake came from a veterinary tech program. Uh -huh. uh, this guy, someone actually had the parents. They had a male and female, and they weren't spayed or neutered. So then she's the result of that. Oh, wow. <laughs> and we our next one actually came from a real bird sanctuary in Missouri. Uh, they're a sanctuary for all different types of birds. I didn't even know. I thought this was the last was. one. I didn't know you were Oh, no, we got else. one more. If we okay, let's bring yeah. 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 Can I keep holding her? Is that okay? Let's get, or should we need to get her out of the way? We don't want the bird to see this one. Hi, sweetie. The next one eats animals like this. Okay. So we're look at her eyeball. Her She's side. eyeballing that kinkajou. <laughs> this wow. is Iago. Iago is a Eurasian eagle owl. These are the largest, one of the largest owls in the world. No kidding. Yeah. And well, where are they from? We're going to find this guy in Europe and also Africa. How'd they so, end up in, how did how'd you guys end up with it? Uh, he was born at Real Bird Sanctuary. Uh, he's about 20 years old, uh, so he was hatched from an egg actually at that sanctuary. Well, look how beautiful so, that owl they look are. Just, its head just spins on a the swivel. They do, and it's really cool. They have to spin that, move their head all, almost all the way around because they have fixed eyes. They cannot move their eyeballs. So he has to move his head in order to be able to see. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> and, Oh yeah. I, I was just going to say we have less than a minute left, but we oh, want to yeah. make sure and talk about your mission as far as education goes. Why it's important for you guys to bring these animals out and teach people about them. Um, you see with kids a lot now, you know, it's kind of easy to get distracted. So we're trying to get people back right. in, interested in animals, conservation. And it's really important today. Uh, we see, you know, animals are disappearing really, really rapidly. So we're trying to spark an interest with kids. We visit kids at schools, talking about conservation, animals, and things like that. And these are all animal and, ambassadors you take into the yep, schools? Yep. And, and these are all, yep, animal ambassadors we take to schools. Uh, a lot of the animals we get come from zoos, refuges, some people, pets, some animals like the tortoise we found here was found here in Nebraska roaming around, non-native species that are here yeah. in Nebraska. Well, we've got your information <laughs> up on the screen. Who should yeah. contact you? I mean, if, if, if schools oh. want demonstrations with these animals, or what do you yeah, want Yeah, uh, if anyone wants to learn about animals, give us a call. And okay. quick yeah. shout out, you guys are taking part in Omaha Gives, so yeah, one of the are. organizations you can support as well. Thank you so much for yeah. coming in Thank and bringing all us, the guys. cool critters. Yeah. yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks and for having us. Bye, Iago. Thanks for the small piece the, of celery. That was good. Dirty. That was good. <laughs> yeah, today on social media, we've got this. So we're, we're talking about a lot of things on social media, especially Omaha Gives, like we talked about here with Wildlife Encounters. We want to know if you're taking part. Which organization, which organizations are you supporting? Give them a shout out on our Facebook page. Up next, why do kids love swimming lessons at Dive Ventures? We'll learn what sets their team of instructors apart. Yeah, then at 926, gifts for grads from jewelry to tech. How you can get them ready for the next step in their lives. We'll bling it on with Saul's Jewelry and Loan.